Hey guys, I'm excited to bring you another video uh, tonight. Dong Yong Park at Microsoft actually dropped the Example Hub app package on the Slack channel for the Hollow developers, and so this is actually a very nicely built app with actually a home menu for you to look at different examples of the new MRTK 2.0. Um, I have shown in previous videos of several of these examples already, such as the hand interaction example, the bonding box example, or the buttons example. And just yesterday, I also walked through some of the standard shader gallery, but I definitely wouldn't mind looking at them again. So very nice transition into this scene. And this time, I can definitely see all the shaders a bit easier because they're much smaller in size uh, for the objects. And so yesterday I showed off the, I showed off this stencil test portal. Um, there is the cutout transition and the vertex extrusion there. But one other one I really like is this one called the rounded corner non-uniform scale because. I always had trouble trying to make a nice looking button with rounded corners and I think this will definitely help. Um, there's another one there if you guys can see called ref refractive glass. I think that's quite cool for glass material. Um, triplanar, okay. Um, triplanar might be um, one of the ones that I worked with the most because I, when I was working on um, the HoloLens Room Scanner project, Triplanar was my go-to shader. Of course, I had to modify it to, to capture all the images, but that was the base. Okay, um, so again, make sure you check this out, the material gallery. Let me go back here and see what else I can check out. So... Um, this two, I believe, I haven't seen before. One is called the tooltip example. So why don't I go in there? Oh, so in this tooltip example, looks like you can look at different styles of tooltip. So th there's a muzzle over here. I'm just gonna move it closer to the floor. And if you notice, as I rotate it around, the tooltip stays um, oriented towards me, and even when I'm, yeah, no matter how I rotate it, it's still in the same sort of orientation, except it's rotated towards me. Um, and if I try this one with one hand or two hand grab of this Earth's core, this will show even better. So as I rotate it around, see how the tooltip stays nicely aligned to my vision instead of rotating with the sphere so that really is a good user experience for the users uh, this one i guess once i press it the tooltip will show and then there's another one so the tooltip only shows a uh, focus this is almost like the mouse hover over on a web page right so very nicely done i really like to use these tooltips to make my UI better. Um, now let me move on to the next feature. So click this home button here. Okay, so the next example I'm gonna try is this clipping example. So in this clipping example, there are two transparent object here. Uh, it says grab me. So let me grab this transparent sphere here. So it looks like it's clipping through the heart. And as I put it on the heart, oh, there, I can see the logo of MRTK. So that's very well done. And I can basically do this to maybe any object. I really have to check out the details behind this, but this is a very cool effect, I must say. Why don't I move another one? So when I move this cube, it will probably do something similar. But let me change the angle a little bit so you guys can see it. So wow, very nicely done. So this clipping 